I came to the gig one night. I was sick. Ooh, I was, I was, I was, ooh, I was sick. I had the flu. I didn't know I had the flu. I just thought I had a cold, real bad cold, you know. But I was sick, boy. And uh, sometime during the gig, you know, we were intermission. We would, I would, we were talking, and she and she was telling me. She said, "You don't feel good, do you? You know, like." And I tell her, no, I feel terrible. And uh, she got up and went to the drugstore and got, uh, I don't remember now what it was she got, but she got something for my, my which, for my cold. Because she, she had asked me, what, were you, what are you, did you see the doctor? And no, I didn't see a doctor. Uh, she said, I hadn't seen a doctor since I got out of the army. <laughs> she said, uh, well, she didn't say what she was going to do. She didn't tell me she was going to do this. She just got him did it. And I was impressed by that because it was something that was new to me. I mean, considering the fact that we had only known one another maybe a month, maybe not that long. And it wasn't one of those things, another thing with her, it wasn't one of those things where I meet you today or tonight, you know, like I met her on the gig that night, one night, and either tonight or at least a week from now, we hop in the sheets. We didn't. And neither one of us pushed it, you know, normally I would have been, <laughs> I would have been pushing, you know, <laughs> hey, let's, let's take care of business, you know, <laughs> what are we waiting for? <laughs> but I, I didn't do it that way, I don't know why, I, I really don't. I ask myself a lot of times, there are a lot of things that, uh, that happened between me and Melly that were just not normal for me, you know. I, and, and um, we, we would talk on the phone for I, another thing. I'd get on the phone with Milton and I'd talk to her for one hour, two hours, just talking. And, and uh, that's something that was, un, that was unusual for me because I don't, have, I don't like to talk on the phone. I don't like to sit on the phone and talk and talk. I, ooh, that bugs the hell out of me. My kids. <laughs> <laughs> my, my kids, they they give me hell about that, you know, because I won't I won't sit on on the phone and have a long conversation. I don't like to talk to people on the phone. You want to talk? I can I'll talk to you, but sit where I can look at you. I, you know, you we can we can call we can communicate better if if we're if but on the phone, it just doesn't seem. It's not the same to me, you know. It's it's uh, Millie. Millie could get on the phone and talk forever. She she she, she could get on the phone and and uh, I, she she could go and and um, cook dinner and serve it and and um, wash the dishes and clean up the kitchen, and she'd still be on the phone. She, she she could really talk, but I couldn't do that. I can't do it. Never could. But I did with her. Yeah, I, I did with her. It was amazing. <laughs>